Okay guys, so this is the new uh, plan of attack. Um, you guys remember the green truck, the green four-wheel drive truck? Well, I took that truck and uh, I had it on Craigslist for a, quite a while for it to trade for a cargo van um, and just to see what kind of responses I get. So I ended up getting a guy that was interested in trading me this. Uh, he's an older gentleman that's kind of was in the construction or whatever, and he was kind of doing contract work or handyman work, whatever. Um, hit retirement, and he's got a bunch of health problems, so he wanted to get rid of this, wanted to make a trade. Now, I don't know why he wanted the truck. I guess he wanted it probably so he could had seats in the back for his kids or something or, or family or whatever, and then it's four-wheel drive. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I kept asking him, are you sure you want to? you know trade but uh but he did so we traded this this is a 2006 uh 3500 cargo van and it's uh you know it's kind of perfect for what i want um you know whether it holds up or not it's got quite a few miles on it but it you know it's pretty much a, a blank slate here um, you know, like to insulate it top and bottom and everything, put a new floor in it or whatever, and then maybe finish it off wherever I end up traveling. Um, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this headache rack, pull this all out of here and junk it, throw it away. I don't want that in there. I want to be able to get from the front seat to the back seat and whatnot. Um, he painted the windows, which I guess that's fine, whatever, but um, it's really pretty clean inside. You know, it's like I say, it's a really nice van. It really rides great. Um, it's very clean underneath. It's got all new tires on it. And it had a timing chain put in, a new timing chain, water pump, um, a um, you know, new belt. And uh, again, I've only got a temporary plate on it for 30 days because I don't know what I'm going to do for sure. Now the tiny house, I've got a video up for the tiny house. I've got another video up for some other stuff and another video up for another. i got about three or four videos coming up here um, the next few days. Um, I got a couple days off now, so I'm gonna get some stuff done. Um, yeah, you know, so, uh, you know, you guys let me know. I didn't even notice that mark there. I don't know what the, what the heck, uh, where that mark, I don't remember that mark, but I guess I don't remember doing anything, so I don't know where it came from, but, um, you know, I don't, it's terrible color, I hate the color. Some people said they like it, but I don't like it. I think it's uh, got to be changed. So, you know, maybe, uh, you know, scuff it up or whatever and maybe just roller it and uh, change the uh, change the uh, color on it or whatever to something different. Um, but it is a three-quarter ton. It's got a 350 in it, good running engine. But, it, you know, it runs down the road amazing. Uh, it runs great, starts great, uh, handles down the road beautifully. Um, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it, I don't know why he traded, but he wanted to trade. So I said, okay, you know, um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I guess, you know, people have what they need. And he said, he just doesn't need this or didn't need this. So, but I'll put it out to you guys. What are we going to do this winter? Um, I'm looking at sticking around for at least for two more months, I think, just to try to maybe get this a little bit done up. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working at a, um, at the resort and I'm doing the store. I'm just trying to bank up some more money because I am right down depleted to hardly nothing. So it is like, um, you know, trying to bank up some money and get some money built back up. Now I do have a doctor in town that, that has, uh, that's interested in the tiny house. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure really why. He actually lives in a tiny house, and then he built another tiny house to put in on his property. So he's interested in my tiny house. So he's coming to look at that tonight, and uh, you know, I'll, I guess I just get what I get out of it because I really don't want to tow that tiny house out west, and I really don't want to tow it down to um, Florida or anything like that. So I can use that money to plop into the bank and then get this really doctored up nice. Now again, this, you know, it's got 200,000 miles on it, so it could it could blow up, it could run, it could who knows, but it uh, you know, we'll see. I mean, it runs and shifts really good uh, at this point, so but it's the same thing with my truck, anything could happen. And there's good old Bella. She's uh 
she had chewed up a bunch of stuff in the truck. Um, my other, uh, the green pickup, which, uh, oh, it was just a nightmare. She chewed up my steering wheel and chewed my shifting knob. So she's got her cage back in here. And she's just, anytime that I'm not in there, she's just going to have to be in that cage because uh, in her kennel because I just cannot have her chewing stuff up. I mean, that's just no good. I mean, dang, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin the inside uh, of this one. But you can see, and I can, uh, we can start it. It really, it really starts nice and runs nice. Turn that off. I mean, you can hardly even hear it. I mean, it just really runs great. Um, all the gauges and stuff work, uh, but uh, you know, it, it uh, it, it's uh, I'm amazed that he wanted to trade. I mean, it really doesn't have any rust. It's pretty clean and I looked underneath the trans the transmission looks really good. I got to get a gas cap because it didn't have one. Um, oh, I see that's just I'll have to see if I can't fix that. But uh, he had some tape on it, but everything's everything's so wet. So I'll see if I can fix that. But anyway, it's got a few little problems, but overall, I mean, it's really, really clean underneath, amazingly clean. So the other thing, I looked under there, and that transmission looks like it could have been replaced, uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it just shifts so smooth. So we'll see. It's got the tow package, and uh, I've got my resitch on the back here. So, uh, um, and, you know, it's got a, uh, it's just a, I don't know, it's just a great uh, van so far. It's, I think it's potentially could be a great traveling machine. Now, the options are to go back, to go out to Big Sky. The options are to go to um, out west to Tucson in the uh, Rubber Tramp Rendezvous maybe, or uh, Lake Havasu and hang out, or down and then go down into uh, uh, Baja, or go back down to Florida and, and do some handyman work or some stuff down there and hang out with this. Um, it's up to you guys. You guys let me know what you think I, we ought to do or what I ought to do, and we'll kind of take it from there. And. Uh, um, let you guys make some uh, uh, decisions on it. But oh, the other thing is, anybody knows anything about this van, um, Chevy uh, 3500, the engine and stuff like that? Anybody knows anything that you know? Are they are they a good thing? Or are they a bad thing? I'm sure there's people out there that's owned them, and I'm sure there's people out there that's uh, mechanics and they know whether these are you know they hold up well or what they do or what what the skinny is. Uh, you know, you think we can make it to Florida with this and back and and uh, whatnot? Do you think we'd be all right? Uh, give me a shout in the comment section there um other than that i guess that's about it we'll get this thing up and so you guys are can can follow along as to what i'm doing and what i'm up to i'm always got something rolling so we'll see what happens uh another video on the tiny house and building and we'll see what happens with that we'll uh, see if the doctor's interested in that or not and uh we'll kind of we'll roll with that and see where we're at and uh keep plugging along it is the uh, wayne diaries changing every day always but it's fun all right come on bella let's go